All right. I think it's time for it. It's Hot Wheels World Race for the PS2. We're going to pop this blue turd in, turn this, turn this thing on, and we're going to play some Hot Wheels World Race. So, yeah. This game is actually based off the 2002 movie, Hot Wheels World Race. But this game was actually released in 2003. And this is one of the only blue discs that I have. It's loosely based off the movie, and uh, great. It's made by THQ, one of my most hated video game companies in history. Probably not as bad as LDN, though. It's actually been a, oh, it's actually been a while since I've played. So here we get this intro. It's actually a pretty good intro. Listen. The cars are equipped with special Nitrox 2 boosters. That is the main boost, like the main ability. Exists in a different dimension the game. Our own. A dimension you won't see until the race begins. I call the track Highway 35 because that's where it begins. Sorry for the flickering. Now, the game isn't really all that bad. I love the race mode, but the only problem I had with it is that ever since I got there wasn't a save feature. Then one day I pop it in, and all of my saved stuff was there. Like, what the hell, man? That is just really weird. Since I'm like an intermediate player at this, we're gonna do medium mode. And... Oh, I forgot, this is like a team select thing. However, not many of my cars are unlocked, are unlocked yet. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played it. My favorite car to use is this, just because it is the one that every player will probably end up starting with. And you first start off with with Tesla's Cube, Satellite City, Vapor City, and Cloud Nine. But as you progress through the game. Or wait, I think there's more. I forget which tracks you can actually start with, but as you progress through the game and do story mode, you will collect more tracks. Like, the one that every player will start off with is Tesla's Cube. And <clears throat> there are some flaws of that, so I'll point it out as I do the review. So anyway, on to the game. We're doing Tesla's Cube. And one thing I should mention is that every track in this game has their own specific music. And no, you can't draft. Sorry. And that Nitrox 2, that can only be obtained either if you do stunts or you can collect that if you do stunts or if you collect these gold rings. And you can use that to like get on the higher platforms. And for some reason these gates are sometimes closed. I'm not really sure why. Oh, and by the way, the rings don't return. How exactly do you do the boots? Oh, I forgot, it's R2. Wait, didn't I push R2? Hold on a second. And, yeah, I just discovered it is R2, so let's try it. And you can always get some more by doing stunts. And yeah, I just learned that that tire thing, that is the thing that will unlock those red gates. But be careful, because other players can try to steal that stuff as well. I don't think you should collect those rings unless you really, like... Never mind. 
and you can only use the stunt when you're on the ground. I mean, night trucks too. You can only use it when you're on the ground. You cannot use it while in the air. So be careful when using that. And one thing I should also tell you is that when you're be careful for how many times you restart a race because after a certain amount of times the after a certain amount of times you've restarted the game it will not allow you to do it anymore and I'm not sure why and for some reason all the other drivers seem to always be able to activate that Nitrox 2 and I'm not sure and there I just did like a flip of some sort I'm not sure how that one simple thing could have filled three cores of my Nitrox 2 bar. There are other things to explain too. So the single player mode that I just did was Quick Race. There's also a time trial mode where you can like test your times on all the different tracks. And there's League which is basically story mode and it's pretty self explanatory like any other game's story mode so you can explore further into the game, unlock more cars and tracks, that kind of stuff. And there's also a split screen mode for multiplayer, but I hate split screen because it just screws up the screen a whole bunch. And there's a challenge mode which is like training. Like, you know, like racing games like Mario Kart DS, they have like a mission mode. That's kind of what that is, just to help you become a better player. So yeah, you know, I actually forgot, I actually forgot that this was actually a movie-based game, and it's actually pretty good. It's kind of the same deal as all the Cars games, like my Mayor National Championship review, that one was a pretty good game, and that was Wii. On PS3 and Xbox, you expect something better, but I don't have a PS3 or an Xbox, so I just have Wii, DS, 3DS. I'm just more of a Nintendo kind of guy, but I do have a PS2, so it's a step in the right direction. And THQ is one of my most hated video game companies of the 21st century. <coughs> and... I never really expected this to be a good game, which is actually based off of a movie. And not many people expect a movie-based game to be that great. Like... Or a game show or something, like Wipeout. Oh crap, a demo mode. I forgot that there's a demo mode. And yeah, there is an unlock gallery. I forgot about that too. It's been years since I've played this. So anyway, it's a pretty good game. If you see the GameStop or any other gaming store, if you'd like you can get it. It's an okay game. But if you're willing to try this game out, go for it. Because it's totally worth the money. So with that, that's the end of this one. This has been a t successful TF32 review. See you all next time. This is the French 32 signing out. By the way, yeah, I have more of these games. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to these. I do have more, but they're for different consoles, and not to mention Mayor National Championship. That also was a THQ game, but that one was good. Some of these are good, others are bad, and some I haven't even figured out yet. But the next one we're focusing on next week is SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants. See you then.